Minnesota DNR issues a red flag warning for many areas in the state. Wasika and Blue Earth counties have posted on its Facebook pages about a burn ban. But the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources says everyone in our area should avoid outdoor burning with the exception of campfires. As you can see by this Minnesota DNR map on your screen, all Minnesota is facing a burning restriction of some kind. The southern and central portions of the state currently have no open burning restrictions in place due to extremely dry conditions. The Minnesota DNR updates this map daily. The DNR says South Central and Southwestern Minnesota currently have very high fire da danger and any fires can start easily and spread at a very fast rate. Meteorologist Caitlin Lord joins us now with a look into the fire danger in our area. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, it's crazy out there. Now, a lot of the reason is not just because of the dry conditions that we have currently and the strong wind speeds out there right now, but it's due to the lack of snow we have too. That snow, I know a lot of us don't like it, but it is so beneficial going into these springtime, these spring months, because we do typically have those elevated wind speeds. And I'll dive deeper into a lot of that, especially the dew point in humidity, because I know there's a lot of questions about those two specific things. But as you can see outside right now, it looks inviting out there and it is temperatures are fantastic but if you focus on the trees in the foreground there you can see that they are swaying and once in a while this camera has been actually bouncing or shaking because of the strong winds the good news is temperatures are nice and mild so if you are okay with dealing with some of the windier conditions it's great conditions to be outside temperature wise we are anywhere in those low to mid 50s and we are going to continue to see those stronger winds stick around not only through the day but tonight as well now they will die down a little bit but they will remain breezy temperatures in the low to mid 50s and then they will drop into the 30s by tomorrow morning i'll have more details on why we are seeing this fire danger a little bit more deeper in those details coming up shortly maddie